There are a number of questions on the extra class exam that ask you to determine the phase angle between voltage and current in an RLC network. If you remember how to plot impedances, they're easy. You'll just have to remember one more rule. Here's an example. What is the phase angle between the voltage across and the current through a series RLC circuit if capacitative reactance is 500 ohms, resistance is a kilo ohm, and inductive reactance is 250 ohms? First, mark the resistive impedance of 1,000 ohms on the x-axis. Then, move 500 ohms down for the capacitative reactance and 250 ohms back up for the inductive reactance. Now, just mark your x and draw your angle. The reactance is less than the resistance, so our angle is less than 45 degrees and it's negative since it lies below the x-axis. Now for the new rule. If the angle is negative, then the voltage lags the current. Here's a graph of what voltage lagging current looks like. Notice the current starts out high and the voltage catches up later. For a positive angle, it looks exactly the opposite. The voltage starts out high and the current catches up later, so this is called the voltage leading the current. Getting back to our example, we know the correct answer is going to be an angle smaller than 45 degrees with voltage lagging current. There's only one of the four choices that provides both of these conditions, answer C. Good luck with the test.